A retired woman in Smyrna got the surprise of her life recently out of the least likely of places. Yes, yeah, she found a unique rock right in her front yard more than a decade ago, but she recently found it wasn't a rock at all. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb is here now with the story that's new at 6. Jason? Well, Rory Vicky, for 16 years, Betty Lamaster kept that rock just because she thought it looked cool. But she always thought there was something more to it than just a rock. Turns out she was right. Aha, I fit the piece. Most days at this table inside this Smyrna home. Look at there. You'll find Betty Lamaster. That's a stress relief for me, working puzzles. That's what she likes, is puzzles. <laughs> yes, and I have an eye for that kind of thing. You know, like years ago, I had someone tell me I would have made a good detective because I see things and I notice things. Like the thing she stumbled upon 16 years ago. Maybe that's one reason I spotted that rock. While she was cleaning up her front yard. And I said, wow, what is that? That looks like a hornet's nest. <laughs> Not a big deal, her now late husband David thought. And he said, nah, that's just a rock, honey. That's all that is. But Betty knew better. I decided to keep it because it was so interesting. I said, this could really be something. She said, right there. This could really be a doorstop for 16 years. <laughs> so there it stood day after day until one day Betty was watching a TV show about geology, looked at that rock and had an idea. I think we need to find out what's going on with this. She took it to the Tennessee State Archaeology Department that told her this rock was actually a 10 pound fossilized coral. 450 million years old. Uh-huh, 450 million years old. No kidding. So I couldn't believe it, and my daughter looked at me and said, and Mom, you've used it for a door prop for 16 years. So needless to say, it's not a door prop anymore. <laughs> she sure proved her husband wrong. Uh-huh, yep. Yep, wish he were here for me to tell him that. <laughs> There was just something about that rock Betty knew one day she would figure out. See, that's what I like is puzzles. So <laughs> this was another puzzle for me. A puzzle now solved. I'm happy that I have it here and can show it and be a part of it. Well, we spoke with a geologist at Middle Tennessee State University today who said 450 million years ago, Tennessee was part of a shallow seabed and old fossils aren't that hard to find, but a fossil the size of Betty's is. So the geologist says it isn't a super rare discovery, but he says it does make for an interesting story about Tennessee's past. Vicki? For sure. Thanks, Jason.